Greetings class, Professor Rihanna Amalsh here, and this is a course orientation video for English 1220. The section number for our course, as you can see here, is English 1220, section number V0852, in the summer-spring 2021 semester. I'll begin by saying that this information here is actually important. When you email me with a question or when you set up an appointment with me, which you can do through this make an appointment link, it's very helpful to know which section of the course you are in so that I can best assist you with your questions and concerns. So that's the first note I'll make. What you see here is our Canvas course shell. It may look a little different than what you typically see when you log in because the instructor view is different than the student view. I will click on the student view here to show you what I mean. So as you can see, the look of the course is slightly different. And I'm going to begin here with the home page because the home page is really the page you are going to look at the most in our course. The home page is filled with a series of modules. The first module you see here is the course resources module. And as you move ahead, you see the week zero module. And as the course continues, you will see subsequent modules that work in the order of the weeks in which we are during the course. Right now we are in week zero because our course does not start until May 24th. However, the reason to begin the course or at least begin looking at materials for the course a week early is to orient yourself to the layout and design of the course so that when the course begins, you won't be too overwhelmed. Now each module um, contains a variety of information that is labeled relevantly. So make an appointment with me is when you click this link, it takes you to a page where you are able to make a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me um, to meet individually via Zoom or by phone, as you can see it says here. I also ask to be sure to answer the questions in the appointment link thoroughly so I can be prepared for our meeting. Now our course is a completely online course and that means we are not going to have weekly Zoom meetings unless you make an appointment with me. So this is really going to be helpful anytime you want to discuss with me anything related in the course, whether it be the materials, the assignments, your grades, your own work, any questions you have, you can discuss through this option here. Now, the way to work through each module, um, there are two different ways. The first way is to begin with the top link in the module and continue to click the Next button. Here you have contact information for me, a variety of ways you can contact me. Next, you will see a page that tells you a little bit about me. There's a picture of me and a brief description of my background. The next page gives you some resources for writing, and there's a variety of resources here. Tutoring, grammar, research, MLA formatting, which is what we're going to be using in this class. Some helpful tutorials and videos. You can continue to work through the modules by clicking the next button or alternatively you can go back to the home page each time you're finished which, with an individual page so that you can see which page you want to navigate through. This is helpful especially if the module that you're looking at contains a lot of links. So you can go back to the home button to see the links in the module for course resources and if you start to want to make your canvas shell appear a little more neat and tidy you can click this downward arrow button at the heading of each module to shrink the module so that you don't see all of those links each time that you log in. Now the week zero module is especially helpful because it talks to you about how to begin this course, how to download 
Microsoft Office 365. This is especially important because your assignments need to be submitted in either Microsoft Word document files or PDF files. You can create Microsoft document files through Microsoft Word or you can create them through Google Docs. You can save either DOCX files or PDF files in either Microsoft Word or Google Docs. It's up to you, but as a Macomb student, you get the full Microsoft Office 365 suite completely for free as long as you're a student. So this link tells you how to download that, and it does work for both PC and Mac operating systems. You have a couple of links here that talk to you about how to be successful in an online course and some of the unique aspects of learning remotely. There's a course or overview and then the orientation video which you are watching right now. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to leave the student view so that you can see other modules that you're going to look at in the future. So starting this Sunday, May 23rd, you will have access to the week one module. And the week one module focuses on elements of fiction. And you'll notice that the very first link in the module says, please view the links in the order they appear. The reason for this is, as much as it's tempting to jump ahead, skip these links and look at the discussion and the activity, the assignments, the week one assignments, these activities and discussions are going to be challenging to complete if you haven't looked at the overview, the materials, and the lecture. So the overview is a page that gives you an overall bird's eye view of the week's materials and concepts, as well as the assignments. It talks about the objectives. It explains what you're going to be learning about during the week and what kinds of assignments you're going to do. And then it concludes with a suggested schedule for the week. Of course, these are suggestions. You obviously don't need to follow the suggestion. However, I've tried to break down each of the weeks into manageable pieces um, of work for each day so that it doesn't become too overwhelming for you toward the middle or end of the week. Once you get to the bottom of the overview page, you can simply click Next to see the materials for the week. So I have a couple of notes for you to read at the top of the materials page, and this is true for each materials page in all eight weeks of the course. Then I have the week one materials, which include textbook readings, as well as OER materials that you'll read just like you would your textbook chapters at the very end, and sometimes the materials are videos. And at the very end of the page, you'll see a work cited because I believe it is very important to cite your sources. So I've cited the textbook as well as the different OER materials that you're going to be looking at in week one. And this can also serve as a reference point for you when you go to create your own work cited pages in your own papers. You can kind of look at these work cited um, sections of your weekly materials as a guide for how to formulate citations for your own works cited page. And then the next page is the week one lecture. So this one is written, sometimes the lectures will be videos that I create, sometimes they will be videos from other content creators and educators. Um, I really try to use a variety of lecture formats so that it doesn't get too boring for you really. Um, but again, these three week, weekly content sections is what they are. So we're in week one here and the week one content includes the overview materials and lecture. All of this material is so important for you to understand the concepts you need to know because these concepts are the building blocks for the next weekly concepts, which then become the building blocks for the following week and so forth until we get to week eight. After you see the weekly content, you'll see weekly assignments. You'll also see if it's relevant that week, additional resources. 
And it's also possible that you'll see upcoming assignments, upcoming essay assignments that you're going to be doing. And notice that under each heading here, like week two overview, week two materials, they start on May 31st, but the week two assignments are due June 6th. So the due dates are always going to be right under the heading here. And you'll notice that the week two assignments are due June 6th, but the upcoming assignment is due the following week on June 13th. The intention here is not for you to be required to complete your work early, Rather, the intention is for you to get a sense of what's coming up ahead so that you can start thinking through and brainstorming ideas for the upcoming assignment. So each of the weekly modules are formatted in exactly this way. They give you an overall topic for the week. They ask you to view the links in the order they appear. They present those links in exactly the same format. There's always going to be the, week, the weekly content first, then the weekly assignments, possibly upcoming assignments, and possibly additional resources. Some weeks don't have those upcoming or additional resources. Um, I think, for example, possibly week five doesn't have that. But pretty much you can see, oh, no, I'm incorrect. It does have um, upcoming assignments. So as you can see, all of the modules are designed the same way for consistency, and they really are meant to help you build skills each week that will help you complete the work for the following week all the way through to the end of the semester. So this covers the home page of our navigation menu here in Canvas. I'm gonna go back to the student view so you can just see what you'll, you'll see in the navigation menu. That's just the home link. There's also a syllabus link, grades, announcements, Office 365, Zoom, and the bookstore. All of these links are fairly self-explanatory. So when you click the syllabus link, it takes you to a link to a document of our syllabus, which is also known as the First Day Handout at Macomb Community College. You can download that document, you can print it, you can save it, however you like to view documents is completely your preference. There's also a course summary which explains to you the things that you need to do and the due dates of the assignments that you have. So this is a helpful checkpoint for you to stay on track and keep a good schedule for yourself throughout the semester. The grades link will just show you exactly that, your grades. Right now, there are not going to be any grades for you because you haven't completed any work. On that point, I grade work within one week of you submitting the work. So unless there are exceptions because of extenuating circumstances in my world, in my life, I should always return grades to you within one week. That said, please refrain from reaching out sooner than that one week mark to ask you what your grade is because I do need time to read and grade everyone's work. It does take time. So be patient with me. Um, one week is the best that I can do, but you'll always be able to see your grades here and you'll get some more information about how to navigate the grades link when you start to receive grades for your assignments. The announcements link houses all of the emails that I send to you as a class, so you've already received the week zero email. As the semester continues, I'll keep reaching out to you via announcements, so please be sure to continuously check your Macomb Community College email account so that you don't miss any announcements from me. Sometimes the announcements are quite important, sometimes they are gentle reminders of the things you have coming up, but always be sure to check in those emails. We have an eight-week class, which means it's condensed, and the pace is very fast. So you don't want to get left behind with an important announcement. So you can always check your email, or you can check right here in the announcements link. The Office 365 link, um, you need to sign in You'll have to log in as it's saying here, but that will walk you through the steps to downloading Office 365. So be sure to do that sooner than later. You can pick and choose which programs from Microsoft you want, but certainly you'll want Microsoft Word for our class. 
The Zoom in the Bookstore links you probably won't use very much, but they're there for your help. I normally don't host um, class Zoom meetings unless I think it's important to have an informational session. Maybe there's an assignment coming up or a concept that I think we need to have a Q&A session. Otherwise, I'm probably not going to have you going to the Zoom link. The Bookstore link you might only need to use uh, one time to purchase the book for the course, so I have that there for you. You'll have to excuse my dog in the background. He gets a little excited sometimes, so pardon me there. So that is this navigation menu here, and that's for our English 1220 specific course. This is just for our course, and you may notice that if you're taking other classes at Macomb, the course shelves for Canvas might look a little different depending on how that professor decided to design the course for, for their particular subject. However, if you move a little to the left, a little further, there's another navigation menu with all kinds of tools that are in Canvas as a whole. So you're always going to see this menu when you're logged into Canvas, and I suggest that you browse through these links to see what they do. Obviously, the dashboard is going to bring you to, <laughs> I guess it's going to bring me to nothing. It's going to bring you to um, all of the squares where your classes are. You can see your list of courses here. You can use the calendar function to plot out your due dates or any and other important dates, even your personal schedule, like a work schedule or a family schedule if that's relevant. There's an inbox here which you can use to email me, your other professors, your other peers and classmates. Um, and you know, the history, I think it, it just has takes a look at your activity in Canvas and what you've done before. One link is very important actually is the student resources and it's at the bottom. So the student resources link uh, brings you to a page where you have all different forms of resources available to you. Canvas, online learning, uh, privacy and accessibility, technology resources, and as you continue to scroll down there are other little uh, buttons here so to speak with links that show you different types of resources that you can access. So you may, as a Macomb student, find that you need to talk to one or more of these offices and this student resources canvas button here will bring you to all of those different offices, maybe financial aid is an example, and it will give you the contact information or give you additional information. So, um, you know, as I started the video saying you're you, you're really going to use the home link the most for our course however i really encourage you to take some time and click through all of the different links within the course itself particularly this week zero week you don't have anything to do it gives you the perfect opportunity to get yourself situated and oriented to the course and then i encourage you to go through the multiple links within our course as well as the multiple buttons here to the left of the Canvas platform overall. Feel free to reach out to me once our course begins on Monday, May 24th, and I look forward to working with all of you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and um, our course begins Monday. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you along the way. I'm here to help however I can. I want to see you succeed in this course, and Enjoy your weekend of freedom before course begins. I look forward to it. Thanks again.